Worldwide blue screens of death are everywhere right now and you could say everything is royally f I'm Ellie Awesome, an Australian technology reviewer, and I'm going to tell you everything that's going on with Windows computers right now, a thing called CrowdStrike and B-SODs. So stay tuned for a quick wrap up. So firstly, a B-SOD or B-S-O-D is a blue screen of death, and it's happened to a ton of computers worldwide, which are causing major issues in the way we live and work and need computers and technology to function right now in places like airports, grocery stores, and even hospitals. These issues are allegedly due to a software update that came through on the program CrowdStrike which a lot of huge corporations and businesses use, ironically, to prevent any issues like this. CrowdStrike is actually a company that offers software that detects viruses and cyber threats. And this software update, error, glitch, or issue is only currently affecting Windows computers as far as we know. Well, although there are a bunch of apparent fixes now floating around on the internet by social media users, the best advice is to just wait for CrowdStrike's update to be pushed out and then install that. However, it's also looking like for a lot of people and a lot of corporations, that you're going to need someone to physically look at your computer to figure out how to get it working again. Now at this point most people are probably wanting to point a big finger at CrowdStrike and Microsoft for their big f up. But at this stage it does sound like this was an innocent error and I think the thing is here is we don't notice when technology is working really well. We only notice when something goes wrong. And now in our life because we so heavily rely on technology we are really feeling it when these kinds of little issues happen. And in fact, technology is so incredibly integral in all of our lives and the way we live now that it doesn't feel like a little issue. And it can in fact impact people in a horrifically negative way. You know, this is going to stop people from flying across the country maybe to see a loved one that uh, is in medical care and onward from that there's going to be people in hospitals that may or not be able to get elective surgeries in the next 24 to 48 hours not to mention emergency surgeries or procedures but thankfully here in Australia at the very least our emergency services are seemingly all up and running and we're still able to call our emergency hotline triple zero but this is probably one of the biggest tech outages that we have ever seen truly giving us a taste of what will happen when there's one a minor mistake or even worse a major hack and as a technology reviewer you may assume that someone like me aggressively embraces tech with open arms but in fact there are a lot of parts of my life in which I'm hesitant to adopt a lot of technology because we still haven't felt it all out yet we still don't know where all of the flaws are and what could go wrong and even more importantly we need now legislated standards on how we're going to keep technology secure although I don't want to discount anyone going through a negative situation on account of the crowd strike problem in my opinion I'm glad this happened because it is just a taste of what is more likely to happen in the future these kinds of technological failures could happen more frequently due to malicious hacks so it is imperative that governments and corporations look at this situation closely take notes and enact important safeguards for this to never be as impactful as it was in this weekend as it could be so much worse in the future.